peach blossoms, peach blossoms, peach blossoms. I got that hair. Hey. We come right back to the same spot. Huh. And there you are. These are black currant blossoms. I, I guess it's not a black currant, a true black currant. And it's advertised as a black currant on the site that I purchased it from, Okios or Okios or however you want to pronounce it. But these blossoms are edible. So I'm going to pick some for breakfast. Got a big batch of asparagus that I picked already. I showed you that, but my battery went dead and I had to. Go in and get a battery. I'm going to be overrun with black currants so I can be eating the blossoms. <laughs> That's a nice little batch to add. They taste like asparagus. After soaking these beans in water overnight, I'm going to be planting them. They really swelled up nicely. I don't even know what these are. I bought a bunch of beans like 2010 or 11 or something. And most of them died out. This is part of what's still existing. I always thought these were rattlesnake pole beans, but I don't think they are. I think they're something else. And I forget what this is. Might be a scarlet runner, something like that. But it doesn't bother me that I don't know them because I just keep replanting everything that wants to grow. And if it doesn't want to grow, I quickly forget about it. Here's one of the trellises that I have I'm going to be planting beans on. And here's another. These are aqualadus or sword beans. These three I had delivered to me this year. They were packed for this year. And I soaked them in water and then laid them on soil where we're making sprouts and they're swelled up pretty nicely. These three came to me in 2014 and I never planted them. We're not going to swell them up. We're not going to try to start them in any way. We're just going to plant them directly. And we'll see what happens. This is the start 
of the part of the backyard that I am planting up. Behind me is somebody else's and she doesn't want me to be taking any credit for any of her work so we're not going that way. Believe it or not, that's what I'm told. Right here we have a European plum that's been in the yard for a long, long time. Come on, you can focus. I guess not. There you go. It's uh, been suckering. And this is maybe its fourth or fifth tree now. We have two, three good years out of it. And, it, and that tree that had the good plums dies from whatever reason. And it sends up suckers and and repeat the process. Now this one is on its second year in all plums. These are gooseberries and an ant. <laughs> These are white currants. Let's go to the right first. Honeyberries. Oops. Lemony quince. Bush cherries. Juneberry. Not quite yet, but these are kiwis. Just gonna start here in a little bit. I got lots of kiwis. Ivan's Beauty. This is a type of currant, and I was it sold to me as a black currant, but somebody told me it's some other form. But the blossoms are edible. They taste like asparagus. I got lots of blossoms to eat in the next couple days. And I'm going to eat a lot. There's another bush cherry. The cherries aren't sweet. They're not tart either. Up here we have a pristine apple that's about to go. There's June berries. There's bush cherries. And I have a new gooseberry in the yard from a year or two ago that's it did have a few berries last year but this year we're gonna have more this is a gooseberry that's called Houghton the blossoms are almost gone we do have a captivator gooseberry here that's going and there is a June berry I just transplanted that a couple days ago I'm getting in here because I have a, a roof of chicken wire and walls of chicken wire. It's going to be hard for the birds to get in here. And over here we have a plum. It's first year of flowering, Castleton. And here we have the first blossoms of an Azaroli. Not quite open yet. And we have some flowers coming up on the May apples. I think that's it in here. More white currants. And these are Josta berries. Those are, right here we have Mayday trees that are going. Here's a peach. Here's a second peach. And there's a third peach behind that. That third one is a, called a Wisconsin peach. It's a Siberian sea hybrid. And then these pretty things are Siberian seas. Ain't that nice? It's wonderful. We'll see if they give us... None of those three gave us peaches last year, so this might be the first year. This one has been giving us peaches two years in a row. Um, last year we got a whole big bowl full. Now this year it's just loaded with blossoms. This is a very late ripening peach. This is the first year this cherry has blossomed. 
I don't remember what they are. My son said, well, one's yellow gold and the other's red gold. But I don't know that.